Hi everyone, Dr. E here. Uh, today I want to look at the forces in a pulley system. I show this problem in class. Quite a few of you have talked to me about the problem saying they spent quite a bit of time on it and not sure what the solution is. So I figured I'd make a video and show you how to solve this problem. So let's go see how we solve uh, the forces in a pulley system. So here's the problem. We have a man, buddy in red over here, who has a weight of 100 kg. He attempts to hold himself using the method shown above or shown below. They ask for two things. One, determine the total force he has to push up on this bar, AB, and also the normal force on uh, the bar, the platform C. Uh, to make this problem a little bit easier, we're going to neglect the weight of the platforms. So massless platforms, we just want to calculate the force he wants to push up and also the normal force on the platform. So to solve this system, all you really have to do is realize that the system is in equilibrium and you simply apply Newton's first law. We're going to have to simply sum all the forces acting on the system. And the total force acting on the system has to be equal to zero if he's in equilibrium. That's all there is to it. Now there's different components. There's the bar, AB. Uh, there's also the platform, C down below. There's the guy. And I guess there's also the pulleys. So let's set up free body diagrams for each of these components and let's solve for uh, the force and the normal. Okay, so I've set up all the different components of the problem over here. We've got the platform AB, we've got uh, the man, we've got the pulley, and we've also got platform C. And remember the mass of Buddy in red over here is 100 kg. So let's start by looking at all, all the forces acting on the platform uh, AB. Well first there's a force due to the guy pushing up on it. Let's call that F. Uh, what else? Well, look at there's there's a rope, right? There's a string here attached on this side. There's also a string attached on that side. Um, whenever there's a string, there's usually a tension, right? Let's call that T1. T1's on both sides, and that's it. There's no other forces on platform AB. All right, let's go ahead now and look at all the forces acting on the dude. Well, we know that the Earth is pulling down on him. So he has a weight. What other forces are acting on him? Well, he's standing on this platform, right? So typically if you're standing on a platform, there's two surfaces in contact, you're gonna have a, a normal force. So this is the normal force due to platform C pushing up on the dude. Now there should be one more force we gotta add to this diagram. Now, remember this force F over here, this was the force of the guy pushing up on platform AB. However, Newton's third law tells us to every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So we have to also include this force on the free body diagram for the man. All right, let's keep on going. What about the pulley? Well, look at the pulley. You simply have to count the number of strings that are attached to the pulley. There's three, so there have to be three forces acting on it. Okay, remember we had tension T1 over here on the A side, and that was pulling down. So that means that on this side, imagine this is the leftmost pulley, you're also gonna have the same tension. Remember the tension is uniform everywhere in the, uh, everywhere in the string. All right, so that's what the free body diagram, at least uh, for the top two strings, have to have a tension T1, and it's the same tension T1 acting on sides AB. However, now look at, there's another string here attached to it. That means there's another force. There's another tension, let's call that one T2. All right, and last but certainly not least, we have platform C. A lot of forces acting on platform C. Again, if we drew T2 acting on this pulley over here, here's T2. If we drew T2 acting on over on the pulley, again, there has to be an action-reaction force to that one, and that is going to be T2 acting on platform C. Except there's actually two strings, all right? So we have to put both of them like this. Now there's one more force. Remember for the guy, we had a normal force and this normal force was the force from the platform acting on the guy. Well, Newton's third law says there has to be an action reaction pair to that one. That means there has to be the same, same magnitude force opposite direction and a different object acting on platform C and it has to be the same, right? Same magnitude, so we're gonna label it with N, the normal force. So that's it. 
this is the sum of the forces, or these are all the forces acting on the various components um, of our pulley system. And all we have to do now is just go back and for each object, since each object is in equilibrium, we have to basically just sum all the forces acting on the system and set them equal to zero. Again, we have to add them up as vectors. We have forces in different directions, so we have to be a little bit careful. So let's go to the next page and see how we solve Newton's first law to find what the normal force is and what the applied force F is. All right, for each object here, I have to add the forces and they have to be equal to zero. So I'm gonna choose a coordinate system. I'll choose a global coordinate system where positive is going to be the up direction and negative is going to be down. So if I sum all the forces acting on platform AB, what I have is F minus 2T1 has to be equal to zero. Again, each one, the sum of the force is gonna, be have, to, is gonna have to be equal to zero, so let's just go and put the right-hand side of Newton's first law on each one of these objects. All right, what do we have for the guy? Well, the guy, there's a normal force acting up, N. There's a weight acting down, minus the weight. And there's also the force F acting down, minus the force. All right, what about the pulley? Uh, the pulley, we have two of those T1s acting up, and we have a T2 acting down. And platform C, two T2 acting up, we have a normal acting down, and that's it. So we can simplify this quite a bit now. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eliminate the tension T2. And I can use equation over here to eliminate tension T2. So from this I find that tension T2 is simply equal to two times the value of the tension T1 in the other string. And let's use that now to substitute and eliminate T2 in all of our expressions. So if I look at platform C, platform C I can write that the normal equals to two times, instead of writing T2, let's eliminate T2. It's gonna be two T1. So the normal force at the end of the day equals to four times T1. All right, we could take this one step further Let's look at all the forces acting on platform AB. From this equation, you can clearly see that the applied force F has to be equal to two times T1 if this object is in equilibrium. So that's another important equation. All right, and the last one is our normal force. Again, we have another expression for the normal force is simply equal to the weight minus uh, the applied force uh, plus the applied force F. All right, so we're just about done now. All we have to do is go back to our initial problem statement and the initial problem statement said, what is the force that he has to apply? That was F. And also what is the contact force or the normal force provided by the platform C acting on the guy? That's what we're calling the normal force. Okay, so to solve now, all you have to do is, let's work with this equation over here. So we have the normal equals to the weight plus our applied force. So that means uh, that the normal force, which equals to four T1, has to be equal to the weight plus F. But instead of writing F, I'm just gonna substitute F for this expression over here. That's two T1 plus 2t1. What this allows you to do, again, just isolate for the weight. So you're going to get 2t1 has to be equal to the weight. And this is an important expression. Because now we've solved for what the tension t1 is. Simply says that the tension t1 is equal to half the weight. And once you know this value in terms of the weight, you can simply now go back into any of the expressions and solve for the other variables that we're looking for. That means that our force F, which is two T1, so it's two times the value we just obtained. That's the weight divided by two. 
the force F is simply equal to the weight of the guy. And what about the normal force? That's the other variable they wanted us to solve for. Again, once you know T1 in terms of the weight, all we have to do is simply solve. The normal force is four times the value of the tension one. So it's four times the weight divided by two, or it's twice the weight. And there you have it, folks. You've solved for the applied force is simply the weight of the guy. And the normal force being supplied by the platform is twice the weight of the guy. Uh, it's always a good idea at the end of the day just to double check. Go back to the free body diagram and make sure things make sense. So it says that our force F is equal to the weight and tension T1 was equal to half the weight. So that makes sense, right? You'd have a weight acting up and half the weight on each side acting down. Those forces would be balanced. But what about our center object, the guy? Uh, the normal's acting up, that's equal to twice the weight. And we have the red line, which is just the weight of the guy acting down. And you also have the force F acting down. And F is equal to the weight as well. So that also works. And again, you can look at the other two objects and you're gonna find that all the forces balance out on all the objects, and that's a requirement if this object is in equilibrium. So hopefully this helps. Make sure you understand this problem, and we'll see you soon.